came crashing in Never gonna be the same again You came crashing in You wrecked me, you wrecked me Love came crashing in Never gonna be the same again You came crashing in You wrecked me When love freshman year in college, I finally started to understand all of this, um, but because of my um, low respect for myself, and I didn't have my identity firm in the Lord, I walked into friendships that were toxic, and a relationship that tore me apart. Um, thankfully, the Lord helped me to step out of this relationship last summer and the abuse in it, um, but afterwards, I I fell apart. I um, was somewhat depressed, um, but I would hide it, and um, I had no desire to seek, no desire to be a joy in the world, to be a light. I was empty, I didn't know who I was again, I was so shattered, and at one point I had no desire to live, I didn't know what was the point. I didn't know what the point was of me just going through life not knowing who I was, and if I wasn't going to sing, which is a big way I communicated with the Lord, why would I go on? And then I came here to Carolina Sound, and the Lord brought me back to singing, because I had to sing, and he brought me back to worship, but not only worship in the sense of praise and singing, but also worship in my life, glorifying him, walking and following him in my life. He reminded me that I am worthy, that I am his daughter, that I am loved, I am beloved. And he, he, he taught me that if you don't truly know who Jesus is, then you cannot truly, truly know who you are in him. And that was a big thing for me. Um, and he reminded me that I am a part of the chosen race, the royal priesthood, yes. the people for his own possession, that I may proclaim the wonders of his mighty works to everyone in 1 Peter 2.9. And he reminded me that through it all, through every circumstance, through all the storms, through everything, that I know now who I am in Him, Amen. and what rock that I am standing on, and I cannot, I cannot be shaken. Yes, never.